Hey guys, here we are again. Um, we've been staying off the water a little bit because of all this bad weather. I'm sure everybody's kind of had the same issue right now. But it's starting to clear up, so tomorrow uh, we're rolling into Saturday. Uh, today's Friday, we had a good day, but uh, too lazy to get out after everything going on with the week. Um, but we'll be getting on the water again. I've had a few people asking about my rig setups that I've been using for the last couple months. And I think I went over it, but I'll do it one more time. What I'm doing is uh, I'm running 15 pound braid. And then I'm going to about three to four foot of a 40 pound leader right now because we have our snook in. And I'm doing three and four aught circle hooks with live bait and cut bait pieces. So we'll do that with no weight and just do cut bait. Um, when we have live baits on, we'll take and put a cork on and we'll leave that rigged up on the top and just adjusting it to the depth of the water so the baits aren't getting down in the bottom. And that's pretty much it, real straightforward. It's gonna be a double uni for the braid to leader and then we're using a, a loop knot for the hook um, real simple rig you know uh, another setup for when you're doing cut baits even live baits if you're trying to keep them in a fixed location with moving tide and different scenarios with baits moving around i'll trim the tails i'll trim them uh, the baits up cut them in half different things but i've also keep uh i'll keep a jig head on so it has a little bit of weight so you can keep a fish a bait fish kind of in one area um, or if you want to switch over to soft plastic real quick to be able to transition with fish um, If not use a knocker rig or a Carolina rig to you know keep the baits in place on the bottom I uh, try to stay away from weights and stuff when I'm fishing bottom because a lot of the areas that we're doing are rocky We have some grass, but not not too much uh, where the fish are really going to be and Knocker rigs Carolina rigs anything with weight you more tendency to get into the bottom and snag up on rocks So that's why we try to keep it simple with the tackle using the circle hooks. It's less uh Less terminal tackle that's going to be in the water if you have break offs and stuff and it's a little uh, cheaper and easier setups quick and on the fly and you can use them in multiple ways especially with soft plastics on and different things. So. Hopefully that covers it for you guys so you know. Um, we're still using the 2000 reels of Pen Fierce 3s. Uh, we got the Ugly Stick Elites. Um, oh I had a, a video I posted a long time ago about the best fishing rod to use for redfish and stuff reel combo and I had these in it. Um, these are the elites. I also have uh, inshore select rods and that video I was Basically describing the inshore select rod when I was using the elites. I didn't know it Somebody actually commented and said it and put a big old thing about it. So correcting that for everybody um, <clears throat> But these are the these are graphite Ugly stick elites. They're a uh, seven six. They're medium lights six to twelve pound line class uh, eighth to five ounce lure and I mean they're great super lightweight they work great with these uh, 2000s on them and 15 I was running 10 I like the lighter line but I was having issues with it so I don't know if it's the the braid for the thread count on it or if it's just too light of line or if I just having issues with the brand so we're switching it up we tried 15 we're on 15 now and it's working great so we're gonna keep doing that uh, that's pretty much it we'll bump down to 20 pound liters getting back into the cooler months Everything starts slowing down. We get less of our big snook and more sheep's head, redfish, snapper, stuff like that, trout. So, but that's the rigs we're using. Uh, thanks for watching and asking. Uh, any other questions and stuff, kind of just shoot them at us and we'll answer them as we go and kind of keep you guys informed and up to date on what's going on and how we're fishing. So, I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks. All right, also, we have some new goodies coming out. We're working right now on getting some stickers, some hats, some t-shirts, some koozies. We're going to have uh, assorted colors and designs and stuff to see what everybody likes and go from there. But uh, see what kind of feedback we can get from everybody. And uh, I'd like to start getting some merch out for everybody and start giving you all some stuff, you know. So let's see what we can come up with. We got the designers working on it now. And hopefully in the next, I would say probably week or so, we'll get our proofs. And we'll go from there and hopefully be able to get some, get some apparel and stuff out in the next probably two, three weeks. I'm not sure how far back they are with their orders, but... That'll be cool. So look forward to that and uh, put in your input. Let me know what colors and designs once we uh, start showing them what you guys like so we can uh, make some other orders in the future and try to get you guys uh, with some cool stuff. I appreciate it. Ooh, another thing we got going on is you'll see something's missing here. Our trolling motor. For some reason, it's been having issues. I don't know if it's a bad connection where it's just uh, putting a load under and then shorting out. So I pulled it off just to get it out of the way. But we're going to go through our wiring, check all that, and hopefully we can get it figured out. Uh, I'm hoping it's something with uh, just a, a loose wire somewhere or a loose connection. Because I've heard of circuit boards and different things that people are having problems with with them. 
Um, I'm hoping that's not it, but we're gonna see if we can mess with it, get it fixed for our next trip and uh, get going. But I think we have a, tomorrow, Saturday, we have a scalloping trip. I got a buddy that I used to work with down south is coming up with his family. And um, we're gonna get out and do some scalloping, maybe some fishing. So we'll try to get everything dialed in and have, be ready to go tomorrow. So you guys look forward to that too. See ya.